Today, we're going to learn about subtracting zero, how to do subtraction problems that have the number zero in them. Before we can start subtracting with the number zero, we need to know what subtracting means. So what does subtracting mean? Well, subtracting is when we take numbers away. Let's look at a quick example. This is little Billy, and little Billy has two fish, but, you know, his buddy doesn't have one, so he gives one of the fish away. He subtracts one of the fish. He had two, and he took away one. He took away one of the fish. And now, how many fish does he have after subtracting one? Yeah, he only has one fish left. He had two fish, and he subtracted one fish, took one fish away, and now he just has one. Subtracting, then, is taking numbers away. Now, how do we subtract the number zero? First, we have to find out, what is zero? What does the number zero mean? Zero means there aren't any. It means none. There aren't any. Look at this collection we have here. How many birds are there? One. Good. How many dinosaurs are there? What? You don't see any? That means we have zero dinosaurs. How many teddy bears do we have? Two. Great. How many snakes are there? What? You don't see any? That means there are zero snakes. There aren't any. How many dogs are there? Yeah, there's one dog. How many polar bears are there? Zero. There aren't any. You see, zero is fun. It means there are none. That rhymed, didn't it? <laughs> it's pretty cool. If you want to say it along with me, you can. Zero is fun. It means there are none. If zero means there aren't any, then that means when you subtract zero, you take away nothing. And we're going to show you that with some subtraction problems. Here's our first one. Two minus zero. What would that be? It would be 2, because when you subtract 0, it takes nothing away. 2 minus 0 is 2. How about this one? 7 minus 0. What would that be? It would be 7, because you're taking nothing away. 7 minus 0 is 7. Here's the next one. 12 minus 0. You should be getting the hang of it now. What would that be? Yes, it will be 12, because you're subtracting 0. 12 minus 0 is 12. This one looks big, but it's just as easy as the other ones. What's 200 minus 0? Yes, 200 minus 0 is 200, because you're taking 0 away. Great job! It's so cool. When you subtract zero, the number always stays the same. It's so simple, so easy, and so much fun. Remember, subtracting zero is fun. It stays the same because you are subtracting none. Thank you so much for watching this, and we hope to see you next time.